Look at to our dance. So welcome back for another Xenoblade Chronicles 2 video. This time we're going to go over fusion combos, which is kind of like a merge between the previous two videos. If you haven't seen them, go check them out. They're the blade combo and the driver combo. So the first thing that we did, I already went through and did it. I turned it off so Nia and Tora only have break. Tora can't do any other parts of the driver combo. And then Rex can do topple, launch, and smash. So the other ones can't do it. So one thing to look at before starting this really fast is there are different aux cores you can put on. So like that one boost fusion combo effect. There are different things you can do to increase some of these different effects on here. Doesn't look like I have any other ones on there, but uh, there are different things to extend durations of the driver combos. And there's just a whole bunch of stuff that either increases damage Actually, I can show an example right here. Bunch of stuff that increases damage either against something of a certain driver combo level or just fusion damage in general. So right here increases damage dealt to toppled enemies by 150%. It's a uh, pretty nice increase. So it's, it's something to look at when you're building your team if you're wanting to focus on doing fusion combos. Just remember which blades you have that can do the increased damage to different steps of the other combos and also ones that can do the just increased fusion damage or that are specific. So like increased smash damage, uh, increased launch, just anything like that that might be able to help out. There are also foods that increase art damage. So you can stack a whole bunch of damage but instead of talking, here we go. Let's start smashing this guy around. So we start off just trying to build up so we have our first step there. So you see break, we have photon. So that is technically a fusion combo, but it doesn't really plop anything on the screen. Topple still doesn't top, uh, plop anything on the screen there. I'm not gonna have enough time, need another break on here. Just showing each of these steps, kind of how the fusion combo works on there. So we have the next break. We are toppling, said topple photon. And then when we launch this time, look over on the right side where well, it says launch photon. That clock and the party gauge, those fill up quite a bit. So you get an increase on that one, it's also attack. So what that clock means is photon is extended. You have the extended duration of that. Let's put Gamma Ray on there. Okay. So, yeah, that clock extends the duration of the actual blade combo. The little weird bubble thing increases your party gauge so you can do chain attacks a lot more frequently. And then you saw the smash. It had that little attack thing that's increased damage. But here, topple, it actually has the nice screen there. It does the extra bonuses there. We'll do launch. That one also does the bonuses there still, and Smash also does those. So those are those steps, and then it doesn't matter which step we have it on, we'll do Ruinous Weather. Just let Nia finish off this one. And yeah, there it pops up on the screen. It didn't do a time increase because once you do that final step, there is no time increase anymore. So we'll get the next one built up here. Show the final part of, of all this fun stuff. So now if you watch over on the left side of the screen for this smash, this should finish him off. And it says joint combo finish. Once you finish a joint combo, that means it was a fusion combo that finished the attack. You get extra experience and extra loot dropped from it. So it can be nice, especially if you're farming something like this, or if you drop your characters down levels, you're farming XP to get the some of the extra slots, or just anything like that, it can definitely help out. Hey, loot! So I hope this helped explain the fusion combos. If you, if you need to catch up on blade combos and driver combos, please check out the other videos that were released. And if you're enjoying these, or if you find them helpful, then 
uh, let me know in the comments. And I mean, if you don't like them, if you find them useless, then let me know that too, because I mean, I, I don't care. I'll still make these kinds of things anyways. But also, um, like, subscribe, do all that kind of fun stuff if you want to, and I will catch you next time when the next Xenoblade Chronicles 2 video, we will be going over kind of what to do in the chain attacks with what we have learned this far. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.